How's it going out there? Beautiful night here in Austin, Texas. I've just been informed that this is the first show of the season here at Stubbs, so we're totally honored to be here playing the first set of the year. We're the Disco Biscuits. We haven't been to Austin, Texas in a long time, but it's nice to be back. My name's Mark, I play bass. Aaron, I play keys. I'm Alan, I play drums. John, I play guitar. We came back after taking about four or five months off. Uh, we came back actually in Jamaica for our Caribbean Holidays Festival um, in mid-December, which uh, was a phenomenal time and we played incredibly well. Um, and we actually continued to do that and keep that energy up um, at, at the highest level that we could uh, for the entire New Year's run, which is just a great feeling. Um, it got us really excited to embark upon this tour and that energy hasn't dipped since. So we, we've been going, you know, full steam ahead for the last uh, you know five weeks six weeks it's been our biggest tour we've ever had most successful tour both I, I think most successful tour both in terms of how many people are at the shows and also just how we're executing musically as a band uh, and so every night's been a highlight you know there's been highlights throughout but I think probably uh, part of the, the coolest thing for me was playing at the Tabernacle in Atlanta and the there was a couple moments in the second set, um, specific moments where we were hitting songs uh, right at the beginning of the songs and the energy in that place was off the charts. You know, I thought that it might explode. I looked up and thought that roof might jump off. So it was really, really cool. Set upon making the album without any um, previously written songs, you know, the songs were not road tested. We acquired a, a gorgeous studio in Philadelphia that we've had for the last several years, and that's our home. Um, we've got two control rooms and a beautiful live room, and uh, we said, okay, let's make an album now that we have this gorgeous studio, and we kind of started writing the songs as we went. Um, you know, so we, we, we definitely brought in a couple of different producers to help us with it. Um, Simon Posford and Benji Vaughn from uh, the UK helped on uh, about three or four tracks. Um, Don Chigro and Dirty Harry, um, two hip hop producers from Philadelphia, helped on a lot of tracks. Uh, we had a, a big LA producer come in and help us for the first three tracks. Um, you know, the songs are. I don't want to necessarily say a departure from the Disco Biscuit uh, songs of our catalog. I mean, they still very much sound like us. They sound like the Disco Biscuits of 2009 is what they sound like to me. Also, one of the things that, like, if you put it into sort of a historical perspective, is that when we go into the studio to make an album, like, we're, every time that we do it, it's a departure, you know, because... Um, that's just how we approach the studio. And I think most bands approach the studio that way. You know, you go into the studio with the, with the aim to come up with new music and new sounds and evolve your band. That's like the idea of being a band is to, you know, continuously evolve and change. We're trying to, we're, you know, I say you try to be different and so, you know, it's like, you, you, you never want to just keep putting out the same material. And so, I, you know, I think some of the, the, the bands that I have the most respect for are the bands that when that when their album comes out it, it is completely new and great you know you know it's still awesome but it's just a little bit different or uh, you know it's represents some sort of an evolution you know and otherwise what, what would the point really be in making art you know and it doesn't obviously apply just to music but when you look at great artists you know visual artists or painters or you know the, the the ones that people still talk about hundreds of years later are the ones that invented new stuff every you know decade of their career we seem to be playing shows people were coming people are showing up in the bad economy and everything. We, we're going out, we're playing all these little towns we've never played before and doing huge numbers. So if it works, you know, if it works, let it ride. Yeah, when things are happening, just stick with it. I think the vibe changes from place to place a good deal. Some of it, it, for us, because we are from Philadelphia, the, the knowledge of what we do changes in every area of the country. And maybe this tour was the first time that we've gone out and seen uh, 
a certain amount of knowledge amongst all the fans. Like everybody seems to know what we're doing. They seem to know all the songs now, even the new songs. So that's a little unusual for us to go out and have everybody know everything that we're doing. Usually we have to, you know, make, have a different set for the Midwest than we do for the Northeast, and that's not the case on this tour. It feels pretty good. Somebody was making fun of me the other day for for calling every every town our second home, but like what what John's talking about, I think is is what makes it feel like we are at home every night. Like you know, it doesn't matter if we're in Knoxville or Minnesota or you know Chicago or Tuscaloosa. It just seems that we're with our crowd uh, every night. You know, it used to be like you go to Tuscaloosa and there was a certain distance between you and the crowd. They didn't know the music as well, you know, they're being introduced, but it's just, you know, it, felt, it just feels like every time we get up on stage, you feel it like you're at home, you know, no matter what town you're in. So that's, that is a very cool aspect of this tour. We're going to be concentrating, I think, on our own festivals this summer. We have three that we're planning right now. And um, Camp Bisco is obviously the biggest one. And uh, that's in, in upstate New York in July 17th and 18th. I feel like we go through like a, I feel like it's really healthy to go through like a every other year cycle on the festival circuit so you don't burn yourself out with the fans. Last summer we played every single festival. You know, we played Rothbury and Bonnaroo and you know, uh, and the list was on and on. And Langerado, we had we had huge sets at all of the big festivals last year. And I think it's one of the reasons we're doing so well right now. And I just, you know, I, this summer I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be concentrating. We have a couple festivals that we're reviving from the past, and a, and a new one that we're starting. Also, we're, we're going to be con. I, I think with all of that on our plate, it's going to be wise to kind of put uh, everything that we have into that this summer. It's the greatest job in the world because that really never happens. And for some reason, you, know, you just sit there, you play your guitar, I, for me at least, and then there's people there and there's always new people. And it just seems to constantly, the energy is constantly there. It's constantly reviving itself. It constantly feels great. It's a great job. Really, I think, I think we lucked out in a way. <laughs> I would like to be a linebacker for the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> I feel like my height kind of stymied me from uh, doing that, so I figured being in a rock band was the next best thing, <laughs> and I don't take that for granted. <laughs> yeah, definitely. For me, it was either baseball or bass, and, I, and I'm not good at baseball. Hey, we're the Disco Biscuits, and you're watching Rockswell.com. <laughs> <laughs>